Meryl first wanted to do the um, the Kate Kelly song cycle, as um, she said, "Oh, Ro, can you organise a lantern parade?" <laughs> and um, hindsight, I think it's a good thing that I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> I started off in different avenues trying to work out how we're going to make these lanterns and eventually we came up with the wonderful group from Lismore called Lighten Up and they, um, they we were able to get a little CASP grant um, which was great, Country Arts Support Program, <laughs> um, sorry Arts Out West and, um, and uh, Regional Arts New South Wales so that was great and we um, got Jilly Jackson to come down and um, an artist, a lantern artist that has a great parade up there and she taught us how to, she did, ran workshops and made a um, hundred of these little pyramid lanterns and um, we've got all of the community, all ages from 7 to 70, like I think there was actually 80 something plus person there making them and so they'll be paraded on the Sunday before the Kate Kelly song cycle. And then over the weekend we made 20 of these really big large birds and fish and that was quite amazing, it was beautiful and um, Jilly was quite blown away at how creative Forbes is so it's, it's really nice bringing that into the festival as well. And then after the actual song cycle we're doing a different type of lantern and it's a little lotus folded um, flower and it'll float on the lake so we're, the Lions Club are actually helping to create these little lotuses and it's very important in the Chinese tradition that um, twice a year they clean the graves um, of their ancestors and they put some food out for them and then because of, that's twice a year the, they believe the veil's quite thin in the spirit world and their spirits can come through and they spend some time with them and then when they're ready to let them go at a certain time they make these little lotuses, put a little candle in them and they float them on the river and they let them, their spirits go back to the spirit world. And so that'll be happening at the end of the Kate Kelly song cycle. There'll be hopefully at least a few hundred of these beautiful lotuses floating on the, on the lake because all day people will be making these beautiful lotuses to, um, with their prayers or wishes or um, and put them all be floated onto the lake and look lovely. It's target country. <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeah. Target, target country. country. <laughs> They've been here through the drought with us, and this is a celebration of coming through the drought. So we have to kind of give them creds for hanging in with Forbes through the drought. Absolutely. So. Lovely. Really. Target country. Yay. Yay. Well, I just think it's going to be a wonderful festival. It really is going to be the best festival. And to have it down by the lake, using the lake, utilising the lake, is going to be just wonderful.